Tie-down roping is a sport where every second counts. You have to chase, catch, and tie a calf in the shortest time possible while riding a horse at full speed. So, it is definitely not a sport for the faint-hearted, and it's not very often that we see young people make waves in the world of rodeo. But Riley Webb is breaking that chain and carving a truly unique path for himself, such that you can almost tell that this cowboy was destined to be a legend in the rodeo world. The young man is the 2023 PRCA Tie-Down Roping World Champion, and he's only 20 years old. That's why we've decided today to delve into the life and career of the young rodeo star and what the future has for him. Trust me, this isn't a video you'd love to miss. So if you're looking to be inspired or just want to appreciate a young boy who is making so much effort to break barriers, stick with us as we reveal what makes him such a remarkable talent. For most rodeo legends, their background has contributed to their growth, and Riley Webb is one of such people. He embraced roping early in life, influenced by his parents, Dirk and Jennifer Webb, who manage Webb Roping Productions and Ultimate Calf Roping. They raise calves for tie-down roping competitions and running calf roping events. In case you're new to the term, tie-down roping, and really want to know what it is, here's a quick rundown. It's a rodeo event that begins with competitors on horses at one end of an arena, chasing a release calf that gets a head start. The cowboy lassos the calf, stops the horse, jumps down, races to the calf, and ties three of its legs together with a short rope, signaling the completion of the timed event. Now, back to Riley. His introduction to rodeo happened at a tender age when his parents took him to the North Texas State Fair and Rodeo less than a month after he was born. He started roping calves at 11, influenced by his early exposure and a passion instilled by Clint Cooper, a former NFR standout, when Riley was about 10 years old. Even outside rodeo events, Riley was seen constantly practicing, always striving to improve his skills. As he began to grow, he spent most of his year flying alone with the assistance of drivers, where he was exposed to the highs and lows of life on the professional rodeo road. Webb won the tie-down roping title in the 2020 National High School Rodeo Association when he was just 16, and that same year, he qualified for the American. That year, he also managed to rope his way into the Roping Fiesta in San Angelo, becoming the youngest person to accomplish such a feat. One thing Webb was not afraid of was to lose, just like any other new kid on the pro rodeo block. He has always believed that no one prevails in the end. Shortly before turning 18 in the summer of 2021, Riley was thrust into the spotlight of a million dollars at the Days of 47 World Champions Rodeo Alliance event in Salt Lake City. He had already won two WCRA events in a row, and he was just one victory away from the $1 million Triple Crown of Rodeo bonus. He tried his hardest, but it didn't work out. However, his mother's words kept him going. She would always say to him, enjoy yourself, make an effort, and trust God with the rest. So, whether he lost or won, all he always did was put in more effort. And soon, what began with him roping at home with his dad gradually improved with him spending his days practicing and riding at his girlfriend Josie Connor's family place. This showed how ambitious and focused he was. From sunrise to sunset, their focus was clear. Get better at roping. Josie's dad, Mr. Jade Connor, is also a roping enthusiast, providing Webb with valuable guidance. Webb emphasizes that roping involves careful consideration of inches and tents, requiring unconventional thinking for improvement. It's not just about roping skills. It's about being innovative and thinking outside the box. According to Webb, everyone can rope, but success comes from thinking differently and paying attention to details others might overlook. You see, Webb and Connor's success is undeniable and Webb attributes much of it to having the right people in his Connor, corner. Josie supports him in various aspects, from practice to financial matters and horses. Webb humbly acknowledges that he's learned more from her than she has from him. As a rookie, Webb has faced some of the biggest rodeos globally, including the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo and the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo. He made his mark at the junior and open levels for several years before stepping into pro rodeo in 2022. That same year, he accumulated $188,597 and finished the season ranked 10th in the world. As an NFR rookie, Webb finished 12th in the average standings with 66.8 seconds on seven heads, winning $71,092.
He finished third in round four, recording a 7.8 second run and placed in five rounds overall. Won the all around at the Stockyards Pro Rodeo, won the tie down roping in Reno, the Helotes Festival Association Rodeo, the PPCLA PRCA Rodeo, and the rodeo at Baker, Montana's Fallon County Fair and Rodeo. These include the Magic Valley Stampede, the Stockyards Pro Rodeo, and so many others that we can't mention. Still reflecting on that season, Webb confirmed that it was really a good one. One thing that stood out during this season was the fact that he remained humble despite surpassing $100,000 in earnings for the season, maintaining a substantial lead over the second-ranked competitor, Hunter Heron. His rodeo journey in 2022 also included teaming up with Shad Mayfield, turning their travels into a blend of hard work and fun. Their mutual support resulted in $10,000 weekends for both, providing the final push Webb needed for NFR qualification during his rookie year. But despite clinching the 2022 Rookie of the Year title and securing 10th place in the PRCA standings, Webb felt a tinge of disappointment in his Las Vegas performance after the NFR. Returning home, Webb wasted no time to train Boots for what was ahead. To this effect, Boots became instrumental in Webb's winter success, but interestingly, Webb left him in Texas for the spring and rode Dutch in Redmond. Dutch, once a tie-down horse, achieved breakaway roping stardom with Webb's girlfriend, Josie Connor. They both rode Dutch in Redmond, with Connor claiming a split fifth spot and boosting Dutch's earnings to nearly $7,000. Then, the 2023 season came, and Webb kicked off with a bang, crediting his swift progress to his new horse named Boots, acquired right after his debut in the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo, NFR, in December 2022. During the 2023 High Desert Stampede in Redmond, Oregon, held from April 5th through 8th, he delivered an outstanding performance, securing his position as number one in the standings. On April 5th, during the slack competition, he clocked an impressive 7.2 seconds, breaking the arena record and clinching victory by a remarkable three-tenths of a second. Following this win, Webb couldn't hide his excitement as he shared with the interviewers that he had a good calf, a solid throw, and tied her up fast. To him, it didn't feel particularly special at the moment because all he was concerned about was getting it done quickly. It was later, while watching the Cowboy Channel, that he discovered that his time of 7.2 seconds was a record for the first Interstate Bank Arena. Webb, still drawn from the 2022 lessons, approached the upcoming months with a strategy to ease up during the 4th of July, enter smarter for more reruns, and prioritize the well-being of himself and his horses. In the course of the 2023 season, he won 14 pro rodeos, including a $50,000 payout at Rodeo Houston, which ignited the unstoppable momentum he maintained throughout the summer. According to him, some guys come to the NFR to see if they can make the world championship happen instead of attending every rodeo. But as for him, he didn't want any regrets, so he tried to ride his best horse at every rodeo he could attend because he really wanted to put everything on the line. It was worthwhile to him because he didn't have to win in round 10 to get out of a tight spot. His second NFR for the year didn't go as planned, so he changed to his other horse, Rudy, registered as Marked Up Cat, after riding the gelding boots in round one. It was a finals where he could just go knock him down and not have to go out and win rounds to make a world championship happen. He had an excellent night and won round three. He also placed in a few more with some of the mediocre calves. The traffic jam with his calf at the end of the rope caused Webb to have his slowest time of the week during round 10. Despite the $70,000 plus lead Webb had going into the NFR, number two Haven Medjid put in a lot of effort to knock him down, breaking the average record with a time of 77.4 on 10 heads and creating a new arena record in round seven with a 6.4 second run. For a chance at the end, Haven Medjid roped really well the entire week. Webb acknowledged the fact that Haven Medjid was a terrific guy and he mentioned how enjoyable it was to compete against him. He also added that he believes that you are only in charge of what you do. You have no influence over what other people do. You must return there. Invest as much of the calf you have been given as possible and carry out your assigned duties. To him, Shad, Haven, or any of the other guys were not the targets of his roping. Once he entered there, he was roping against the calves and himself. In 2022, Webb expressed gratitude to Lane Livingston for giving him the opportunity to be the tie-down reserve horse of the year. But in 2023, 
was grateful to Boots as he declared he deserved the credit for the year. He remembered purchasing it in 2022 and how he rode him in every rodeo until he broke the record for season earnings. In 2023 alone, Webb amassed $280,404, holding a substantial $74,000 lead in prize money over Shad Mayfield. Each round winner at the event stood to take home over $30,000 in calf roping. With 75 rodeos completed in 2023, Webb had a strong start during his summer run, securing big wins at the Reno Rodeo and the Greeley Stampede. Webb's 2023 journey includes notable wins at Rodeo Houston, the National Western Stock Show in Denver, and Redmond. He finished second in the average standings at the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas, earning $172,447. He also competed in five rounds, winning round three with a 6.9 second time. As the pro rodeo season transitions from winter building rodeos to spring's outdoor events, Webb stands tall at the forefront, showcasing his skill and determination in the arena. If you were asked to say something about this young star, what would you say? As for me, I'll say that Riley Webb's story is a perfect reminder that pursuing your goals is something you should do no matter the age involved. You only have to do two things, stay true to yourself and put in a lot of effort. Achieving incredible things looks like a walk in the park if you apply these important strategies. So, whether you're a young person with so many goals that seem unachievable or an adult looking to make a change, Riley Webb's dedication should give you the strength you need to make that move as well as the strength to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring and interesting videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.